Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Fado once again and we are back to our analysis for this Wednesday through Friday, August 18 to 20, 2021 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Well, uh, tropical uh, depression 16W has weakened into a low pressure area as it approaches the Philippine area of responsibility which is located over to the east of uh, Central Luzon. Uh, far away, uh, it will not affect any uh, parts of the country and the remnants of this system will uh, continue to move towards the uh, general direction of uh, Taiwan and the southern islands of Japan within the next uh, couple of days. And uh, uh, based on the analysis, it still have a medium chance or 35 to 65 percent chances of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours so the possibility of becoming a cyclone is still there uh, regeneration okay it might regenerate back into a tropical depression or even a tropical storm and we are keeping an eye on this system the uh, european model remain consistent that this system will not uh, intensify as it moves towards the southern islands of japan within the next uh, uh, four to five days and uh, elsewhere, we don't have any other weather systems. We have uh, this is a here. Now let's discuss here over the Philippine Islands. Uh, there are no major weather systems affecting right now, except for some localized thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon and through the evening. As of this time, there are still some uh, dissipating thunderstorms occurring across parts of Luzon, besides in Mindanao. I'm gonna show it to you in a short while. So these are all localized thunderstorms during the month of August. It's still common at this time. And uh, we have a quasi-stationary high pressure here and a uh, northwesterly moving high pressure over to the southeast of Japan. Frontal system here uh, affecting uh, Japan, southern islands of Japan and southern China. So far that's the latest from our GovSat. Here's the fast animation. There you go. The uh, one td 16W, uh, just a low pressure area, but it's uh, regaining some uh, uh, organization uh, during the past uh, six hours as it moves closer to the Philippine area responsibility. It might enter par tomorrow, and uh, let's see from uh, there on. Uh, moving forward on what will uh, be the fate of this uh, tropical cyclone or uh, tropical disturbance and here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation uh, from windy.com this is uh, from uh, the latest uh, satellite loop from 5 p.m. to 11 uh, this evening as you can see very strong thunderstorm affecting Metro Manila and Western Luzon but starts to uh, weaken and also here uh, in some isolated portions of the Bicol region, Visayas actually it's uh, nationwide there are some isolated patches of severe thunderstorms during uh, the afternoon and evening and here comes the uh, tropical uh, disturbance LPA uh, formerly 16W which is still uh, struggling but uh, likely uh, gaining some momentum for the past six hours and here's the latest uh, tracking from the Typhoon global models gonna change the date here 18 okay so there you go based on the forecast of all models except for the uh, American model which will uh, cl move closer towards Taiwan it's now uh, expected to track the system okay is expected to track towards the southern islands of Japan or through the Korean Peninsula and Western Japan within the next five days okay so that will be the fate of this uh, low pressure system but it may uh, still uh, attain tropical depression or tropical storm status if development continues to occur into the circulation of this tropical uh, or remnants of 16W and here's the uh, three-day rainfall accumulation from windy.com from ACMWF model here's the uh, tropical storm for the next three days you can see the line of heavy rainfall that's the uh, low pressure area 116W and uh, 
here's the uh, localized thunderstorms is still expected to occur in uh, some portions of Luzon including uh, southern Tagalog provinces, Metro Manila, Bico, uh, Visayas, uh, Mimaropa, and Mindanao. And if we take a look at the latest global tropics hazards and benefits outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two weeks. So for this week, uh, August 18 to August 24, we could expect below average rainfall with medium probability or 50% probability across the uh, northern central and also southern Luzon and um, normal weather with increasing uh, rainfall uh, variability across southern portions of uh, Mindanao no tropical uh, formation expected until August 24 but on week 2 valid August 25 until August 31 there will be a medium chances of uh, above average rainfall across the whole Philippines and a possible formation either to the east or west of the uh, Philippine Islands east or west of Luzon to be exact uh, but this is uh, around the moderate uh, confidence or 50% uh, probability as of this time so this is not yet sure okay for next week but uh, for this week it's all clear across the Philippine Islands Okay, there you go. That's the uh, latest for today, Wednesday, until Friday. And we'll return again uh, this coming weekend to give you update on the weather situation across the Philippine Islands. From Typhoon 2000, this is Michael, Michael Padua reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.